guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the costume change, or wardrobe change rather. Uh, we, my camera kept overheating, so, whoops. Uh, I am, this is a different day. But anyway, let's just continue on as if nothing ever happened. All right, so the next, the piece I think I was starting to talk about um, before I was so rudely overheated was this. What I call, I'm calling it a sister's pin because it's got five sisters or friends. And it is some kind of coppery brass, mixed metal. I think, I think that'll sell. I think that's pretty cute. Alrighty, and this is one of the items that when I saw the bag made me want to buy it. And it is this belt that has these turquoise colored stones, cabochons, I think they're called and the these stamped you know silver plates it's not real silver but i i think this belt will sell well and i don't see any kind of marking on it so i'm not sure i uh, this was one of the pieces that i snuck out um <laughs> when i did a periscope of it and i, I think somebody said somebody said what it was from because they'd seen it before and i and i can't remember now coldwater creek chico's Something like that. Anyway, so that was the belt that I saw in there. I didn't realize it was a belt. It's really clangy uh, when I bought it. So then also, this was in there. I'm not too sure. I think this is one of those, you know, you put your put your hair on it and it has a pokey thing that goes through it, but there is no pokey thing. So I'm not sure that I will try to sell this. I'm not sure I'm going to try to sell this. It's got like a tribal scene stamped into it. Who knows? All right, next is a gold chain. Let's get ye old magnet out. Hang on, hold still. Are you magnetized? There it is, yep. It is magnetic, and I get asked this every time. <laughs> um, if it is magnetic, and I can't remember if I told you this earlier in the video or not, it just lets me know that it's not pure gold. You know, it's not gold, it's not silver. It might be plated, it might be something else. Um, so let's see. And this is also broken. So, uh, it's broken. Nah. Alrighty, next. My box, I gotta scooch it over. It's kind of far. Now, next up, I did keep to the side some mismatched earrings. Frequently, there will be earrings that are, um, you know, they don't have a mate. But there were some that were so kind of cool that I thought I might do like a singles earring lot I don't know so this one did not have a mate this one did not have a mate but I like it so much so that one and this one and where's the other one this one right there with the Jaguar or something on it let's see oh there's another one <laughs> This one's got a snake, like that. So yeah, I may do a jewelry, like an earring singles lot or something, I don't know. <laughs> and then next I have these dog tags. And I think, here let me show you. I think it's from a band. Tell me what you think, or there's a store, one or the other. But it's, one, one of them says Para. And the other says more. And I think there's a band called Paramore. So I don't know if this is some sort of band related object or I don't know. Anyway, Paramore. So that was also in there. I have to look that up. And then this one, this is kind of cute. It was in this little bag. And it looks like a cassette tape. And it says, Hey Monday on it. And it's got a little chain. Let's check that chain out. It is magnetic, but I still think that will sell. I don't know. Is Hey Monday a band? I don't know. I mean, it may, like, this is all stuff I got in Portland. You know, I got the whole bag in Portland. <laughs> um, but, so for all I know, it could be some DJ or some band or something that made stuff to sell at their concerts or shows, you know? Okay. Next. Oh, uh oh, that's stuck in there. Hang on. Oh, brother. I can't get it. I can't get it. It's stuck in there. 
Oh wait, I got it. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. So then I got a money clip. It is a dollar sign money clip. Yeah. I think it's vintage though. I mean, it's made in the USA, so chances are highly likely that it's vintage. So there's that. So with the case that it came in and everything, and it is magnetic. I just did it and didn't show you. Some funky stuff. Here we go. Here we've got this homemade pin. Also probably going in a lot. This one I may try to clean up and sell. It is a butterfly brooch, but it is needlework. It's got, you know, like embroidery flowers on it. Embroidery, needlework. Anyway, and it's pretty big, so that will go to sell. Cool. And then this one, where are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? What are you up to? Oh my gosh. Oh, is that how you like make it bigger and smaller and stuff? I don't know. So this has got some cord, a cord. I can't tell if that's leather or not though. And a black, just a shiny black bead on it. I don't know, I don't really, I mean this will probably just go in a lot. It's simple, I like it, but I don't think it's something that I will be able to sell by itself. And then this one, I'm gonna see if I can fix it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it. So this is a, a necklace and it's got all these gold chains and beads and stuff, but one of the hooks is, you know, broken off. So, and this is one of the ways, like if you're not sure if something is vintage, you know, look at the clasp, look at the way it's put together, look at all the hair. Anyway, <laughs> that is not a, a determination if it's vintage or not. So then it's got this hook. I'm failing right now. <laughs> you know, this type of hook on it, you can see. Anyway, so this, I don't know, it'll probably go in the lot because I just don't have time to fix it. I just don't have time. Okay, next up, this necklace is really pretty. Really pretty, it reminds me of bees and honeycombs and such. And then it's got these little teeny stones in it. And I checked it when I put it in here, okay? I'm gonna just keep it real. And I checked to see if the stones were missing. And none of the stones are missing. It's so pretty and it is labeled Ann Taylor. So it has the Ann Taylor tag on it. Ta-da! So yeah, that I will sell by itself. Cool. And then next, I need your help on these. These are some sort of plasticky flower. And they're on this wire. Like, were they on a hat? What's the story with these? I'm gonna try to get where, where you can see them. You go over here. See? So I don't know, like do I put those in a lot? Do I need to test them? <laughs> you think they're something? Or Bakelite or Lucite or? Uh, let's see if I can see the back for you. You can see the back. I mean, this is what they look like. I just don't even know what to make of these. I'm guessing they are something to do with hat making with the pokey things. I'm not sure. You learn something new every day and I'm sure one of you will probably know. Look, maybe, maybe, who knows? Okay, next we have another necklace, which is really pretty. Not my style, but it is somebody's style. It's got white, bead, I'm not beads, carbachons, and there it goes. Looks like such. Now, any markings? Nope, no markings. Uh, but I will still try to sell this. All right, then next, this one I'm not sure about either. This has one of those closures that are, it's got those knots that you have to pull to tighten it to make it smaller and bigger. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be able to pull these in opposite directions. There we go. To make the necklace shorter. Um, and this is not leather, it's just like a string. And then this is the pendant. All right, so it's kind of got that tribal look. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna describe this. Because it is not my, I mean, this is not the kind of jewelry I like, but 
This is the kind of jewelry somebody likes. So it's got these dangles and it's got a tribal look to it and this sort of burnt, I mean it's not burnt wood, but it's got that kind of burnt wood look. They are plastic, they are plastic. So yeah, we'll go from there. All right, next we've got this necklace that has a velvety strap and it is a Leah Sophia, which is a brand I've, I've heard of, but I've never sold or actually looked up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look it up. So it's this modernistic, abstract, sort of twisty oval, and it's got a little safety chain. Leah Sophia. So that's a new one. Well, I've heard of it, but I haven't ever gone and looked it up or anything. Okie dokie. This one was unusual. I. I've got to say, it's on a leather strap, leather string, but check out this pendant. It's like this woman of fertility or something, and poor thing has no legs. So it's a bit, <laughs> she is trying to be anatomically correct, but she has missing parts. Anyway, <laughs> so, I, it's sort of got that pewter feel to it and look to it. I'm not sure, I can't, I can't, I can't be for sure. There are no markings, but I am going to try to sell this girl. Uh, let's show you the back. The back is just smooth. Yeah, so uh, it's different. It's different. And this one I might end up keeping because I've, I've been wanting one of these. You know, it's one of those that you put it and you hook it on the, if I can make it work. <laughs> I don't think I can. So you put it on the table to hang your purse on in the you know, restaurants and such. My mother-in-law has one and I just never have picked one up so I might be keeping that for me. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Next up, I think, all right, this is, it's kind of like a shoestring, <laughs> fancy. And then it looks like, it looks like the doctor symbol but I'm not exactly sure that it is. You know, but it's got that same look to it. Tell me what you think. It's got the snakes, it's got the wings, but I am not exactly sure that this is that doctor or medical symbol. Uh, this looks a little more Egyptian. I don't know, it has a bit of a, a different look to it. So, my battery's about to die. I need to go get the new battery. Let me show you the rest real quick. Okay, this is, I was telling you that some of the stuff looked like it was a mashup, homemade, Somebody's playing with stuff. So somebody has taken this <laughs> beaded necklace, hooked a feather on it, and then hooked an earring on it. So there you have it. <laughs> I don't want to touch the ear, the feather. <laughs> All right, but I am gonna test. No, uh, uh. So yeah, this is going in the, the jewelry lot. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Got my fresh battery now. So next up is a brooch. And it's a big old <laughs> wobbling. Don't do that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Why aren't you staying put? Stay put. There we go. Big old leaf brooch. And it is marked on the back. Can't read it. So I need my loop. My loop to do. Here it goes. I'm looking. Listener. L I S N E R. Which I'm guessing is a costume jewelry brand that I have never heard of. So, or if I have, it's. Or if I have, it's very rare for me to hear of it. It's not one of the brands that I hear about normally. Okay, so I'll have to do a little looking up on that. Next is a brooch made of wood and it's very intricately carved. A bit of open work, like so. That's pretty cool, I'll sell that. And then this brooch it looks like it's got a sword. Is that a sword? If you look at it that way, it looks like a sword right there. It is missing a stone. So, hmm, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I don't know if it would still be sellable without that, you know, with the missing stone and all, because it would probably sit a lot longer. So it will probably go in a jewelry lot. A lot of brooches, a lot of brooches. All right, this is a scarf clip with some pearly pearl looking beads on it. 
I, I've never sold a scarf clip before. Have you? Let me know. I may look it up because I, I've never, I don't expect it to go a lot. But you never know. I You learn something new every day. This would have been really nice if it wasn't missing stones. It's just a basket with, looks like flowers in it. And it looks like it had other color beads too because there's a little black bead there. Or maybe there were supposed to be berries or seeds. But it is missing two stones, which is a real bummer. It will also go in a lot of jewelry. Jewelry? Jewelry. <laughs> this is adorable. It's a little teddy bear holding some crystal -y balloons. And I think this is supposed to be maybe a citrine. Um, so it's probably a birthstone type um, pendant. It is magnetic, but it's still really cute. I think it might still sell, you know? If I, because citrine is one of the birthstones. I don't know which, I don't know which month it, this citrine is for, but, oh, it's marked on the back. What does that say? I'll look in a second. Let me show you one more time. It's pretty cute. I think somebody would like that. Let's see what that marking, I can't read it. <laughs> it's too little. <laughs> here I come, here I come. It is marked DM and then a little copyright and then 99. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. Next is this little ring. Looks like it's engravable there. And I am I'm, I'm not thinking it's silver or anything. It's probably um stainless steel is what I'm thinking or somewhere along those lines. It doesn't it's not marked and I don't get the feeling of silver if that makes any sense. <sighs> but I may check it out anyway cuz you know me. <laughs> I just do. I got a little key and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. If I will try to sell it or save it until I find a bunch of other keys because goodness knows that might happen. <laughs> Maybe. Next is this Fleur de Lis with the eagle in it and it is marked on the back. This is really familiar. It looks like a scouting one but I'm not sure it is. SS of A, patent 1911. It says SS of A patent 1911. <laughs> Dreaming big. <laughs> it's not magnetic. I can't get the clasp open. It's really bent. Maybe I can try. I'm gonna look a little bit closer. Give me a second. It's, it says BS of A. So it is Boy Scouts of America, but it's so rubbed down that the B looks like another S. So patent 1911. So yeah, a little Boy Scout pin. If it's an old one, I mean, I'm not sure it'd be worth any money. They don't really, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll hang on to that. I say we'll see a lot. I get teased about that from he, he and she who shall not be named. But you know who you are if you're watching. <laughs> a whole bag full of little um, studs, earring studs, not hot dude studs. And... I will probably go through and test them all. Gosh, am I just gonna be... Hello, do you see me? Okay, there. I don't remember what I said. I was talking about how this is a bag of studs, but not a hot dude studs. So, <laughs> I will probably go through and test and see if there's, you know, if they're magnetic, if they're not. I mean, obviously some of them are, but there may be some in there that are not. I'll go through the rest of those later because I still have a lot, a lot to show you. You can fuss at me if you want. That's okay. I'm still going through. I have another shell necklace and I still have a lot of shell necklaces from my last haul. So I will probably end up lotting those together. I think someone said they sell, but I've never sold shell necklaces and I feel like they're everywhere. Next is this necklace with these purple beads. And these wavy, also, I guess they're beads, connectors, but it's on this stretchy, stretchy uh, band. So, it's cute, but I am not, I don't think I'm going to try to sell it by itself. I just don't. <laughs> the, the beads, the beads are not magnetic, the, um, the piping part between, but I don't think they're silver either. Just, I don't. I just don't. Next, we have this gold chain, which I think is kind of lovely, with these faux pearl beads. 
like so and i would i would think this is vintage i just the style of it looks vintage to me the clasp is not really so vintage but i mean like old it's not like old old vintage but it could be newer vintage i don't see any kind of maker's mark but i will i will probably try to sell this still we'll see this one is very different all right you ready for this this has been treated i don't even know how i'm going to show it to you this is kind of all over the place it's kind of cool and kind of all over the place it is a charm bracelet that has been treated somehow to have this like white patina on it and it's got this lobster and a crab it looks like it might have used to have a stone on i mean this oh it probably did used to have a stone look see you can see these little stones there it looks like it probably had a stone there this one looks like it used to have a stone there i'm gonna go around the, this it'll be easier looks like it's missing a charm there then this one is a a fish and then another fish and what else has on there fish 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 another fish and then this blue and then this stone so i have never seen this kind of treatment before on something and it's got a feel to it so i don't know if that feel it's got that dirty that dirty jewelry feel if you know what i'm talking about um I don't know that I've ever seen this kind of finish on something. So let me know what you think about that. Or if I should try to sell it. I may, because it's so different. Even though it's missing stones and stuff, it's just so different that, I don't know. I may go ahead and try to sell it. Okay, got, uh, let's do the rest of these bracelets over here that I've got. This one is really cute. This one's got little flowers. Can you see them? With little stones inside. And as far as I can tell, it's not missing any. It's really, I keep saying cute. It's really cute. It's really cute. But it is. It's really cute. Oh, and it's marked. C and L. C plus L. Can you see the marking? I don't know that. So I will have to look that one up. Yay. I like it when they're marked. It makes them more marketable. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Next is this lot of bangles, but they're not exactly bangles. They're connected like so. And I don't know, it's kind of nice. I'm a bangle lover, so I may try to sell this. It's nice. I didn't even, oh, I didn't magnetize that other one or anything not magnetic which is a good sign in my book but like i said could be stainless steel doesn't necessarily mean it's silver how about you oh yeah you're magnetic but i could still see somebody wanting this i could still see 15 bucks or so maybe more i have to search comparables you know and then next is just a simple copper cuff and i've sold copper bracelets before copper brass um Sometimes they sit. This one's just a simple one, so. Yeah, it doesn't have any markings or anything. Look, copper top. <laughs> we have this locket. And I'm not sure what you call this kind of stone. I mean, it's not a real anything. It's a purple, but it's got these lines in it. What do you call that? There's the inside of the locket. No marks. I'm not seeing. And it's very magnetic so we'll see I I just catch myself I keep saying we'll see uh, what would you do I mean I'll probably put it in like a pendant lot it's going over there for now but this is why I like doing this because I'll throw things over and then people you guys will come back and say wait a minute go dig that back out that was cool all right I'm a rock hound there's a rock I'm gonna show you a rock that was in there it's just a stone it's not tiger's eye but it's cool cool I like my rocks square cut pear shape you know <laughs> all right this looks 
probably homemade. I like the clasp. It's really pretty. And then here, so is that? Is that pretty? It's pretty. With the scroll work, and then it's just beads. This is actually really nice. This is not my style at all, but I like this. I think it because it looks so delicate and feminine with all the little seed beads and all the pastel colors and the little faux pearls. It just looks really delicate and feminine and I like that, but it's just not my, maybe it's going to be my style. I don't know. We'll just put that to the side. <laughs> Perk. That's one of the perks, right? I, d I don't know, because I normally wear silver jewelry or gold jewelry. I don't w normally wear other stuff. <laughs> but I might. I might just start. Next is another homemade seed bead necklace with little green beads in it. Looks homemade. That will go in a lot. This as well. This will also probably go into a lot. It's seed beads with these other blue beads. This is kind of nice though. Like if I was gonna sell this, I would probably put, well it's really dainty, so it's small. And I might use, you know, some sort of like mermaid type keywords because it looks like it's very mermaidy. <laughs> that makes sense, mermaidy. It looks very mermaidy with all the blue colory things. I don't know, maybe I'll sell that. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna try it. I may try it. Okay, you made the cut. Next, let me find the end of this, baby. Next up is this necklace, and these are really pretty. The, uh, that kind of blue, purple, not quite periwinkle. What do you, what color would you call that? I mean, those are so pretty. That bluish purple, violet. Um, yeah, I like that. I like the colors of those. So this necklace is marked, oh, American Eagle Outfitter, A-E-O, is what that is. Let me show you the tag. So if you ever come across it, you will know this tag, it's a lowercase A-E-O, and that stands for American Eagle Outfitter, which is like a, like a teen clothing. Sorry if you wear it and you're not a teen, <laughs> but I think of it as like a, like a teenager store. Generally, I may be wrong. <laughs> um, I may, I may look it up. I'll, I'll see. So next up is this little stretchy, stretchy bracelet. It's got. It looks like it's trying to be one of those shell bracelets, but I think these are more um, quartz type rocks, stones. You know, they're not the shells. So those will probably go in a beaded jewelry lot. I'm already in my brain figuring out how I'm gonna lock the, the other stuff up. Here's another little necklace. I think, I think it is homemade. Look at the teensiness of it. It is so tiny. Or is this an anklet? Maybe this is an anklet. It might be an anklet. It's a big ankle though. <laughs> no judgments. Maybe it's for a dude. I don't know. It looks like it could be an anklet. I I don't know. I think I see a marking on this. Let me see what this marking says. Why did I put my loop away? I knew I was gonna need it. I knew I was gonna need it. No, no marking. It's just uh, really tarnished and stuff. I would put it on, but no. To see if it would fit. But I have small ankles. So I'll, I'll put this to the side and you let me know what you think. <laughs> it's going to the side. Okay, next, some big old bead pearls. It's got a cool clasp on it. This is how it closes, like so, vintage. I, I probably will put this in a lot. Yeah, I will probably put this in a lot because the quality's not awesome. If you look at the string, between the beads, you can see they're really kind of gnarled up. So this will probably go in a jewelry lot. Somebody will like this clasp. I do believe. Yes, I do. This looks really vintage. This looks like 80s, early 90s. So I will probably try to sell this plastic Harlequin type beads. Ooh, right now it's really, Harley Quinn is a big deal right now. So maybe this would go well. I can, I can't, 
I can't spam Harley Quinn, but this, the beads are very Harlequin. So I will try to sell that. At first I thought maybe not, but I've since seen Suicide Squad and now I think I will. <laughs> Alrighty, another shell bead necklace. And this has got those pink type uh, shells with the barrel clasp like so and i know i have some of these from another haul that i might end up lotting together but then i know somebody i know somebody in one of the other videos i wish i could remember who because i hate saying somebody said um but one of you told me that these will sell so i don't know i'll look it up i'll hang on to it this one is going in the jewelry lot it's just these kind of i don't even know what to make of these beads Watch this be something that, that one of you says, oh my gosh, those beads are something really awesome. This is another piece that I mentioned, so whoever donated stuff really liked their mashups because they have mashed up two necklaces into one, I believe, unless this is something you bought, I don't know. So here's the clasp, there we go, that's the clasp. And then it appears to be two separate necklaces conjoined to make one. So tell me, do you, what would you do? I, it's going in a lot, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another shell bead necklace. Okay. And this one's pretty cool. It's really hardcore. I don't know, it's got that clinky sound I like, you know, that clinky clinky. <laughs> so it's got the beads and the chain. And then the finish, the hooks are really big in the back, loops like so. And then I guess you can just hook it on wherever you want over here. Now, maker, no telling. This is strange. I guess you can play around with it because there's another clasp over here. There's another little clasp on this end. So I'm wondering if you can change it around, maybe? Who knows? Anyway, I'll try to sell it. It's, it's gonna, it might be hard. I mean, I'll have to think up some good keywords. It's, uh, delicate, but industrial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we've got a chain. And I think Kira mentioned that she saves the chains. This one is magnetic, but I think she mentioned that when she finds silver chains, she'll save them for when she finds silver pendants to, to go with, which is a good idea. It is a good idea. So this will probably go in a chain lot. It'll go with the chain gang. Come on, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. I like this too, but again, not my style. <laughs> Can you hear my voice fighting there? Stop fighting, guys. All right, this is a chain that has some pearls interspersed throughout it like so. I like that. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of uh, the 20s, <laughs> you know, with their long necklaces, even though it's not all beady. So I'll try to sell that. I do like this one. So it's got this big, I don't know, it's sort of an Art Nouveau look to it with these two chains that come in to meet it, to, to have it, um, what's the word? hanging from it but there's a fancy word for it that i'm gonna think of and then it's got these little beads along the way which is really pretty i like it i like it <laughs> and it is marked rachel i wonder if it's a sign it is marked rachel and i don't i don't know that brand either so this will be a whole learning experience for for the lot of us i will try to sell that i like it i like it oh boy clinkies Clinkies, I like my clinkies. <laughs> Listen, it just sounds like fairies, come on. The fun kind. <laughs> All right, so this is a, <laughs> I'll let you decide which of the fun kind. <laughs> All right, so this has got these little clinky hearts and some little clear beads or stones and little pearls all hanging from this chain with a little bead at the end and it is marked can you see the little eagle there so this is the eagle and then on the back is the ae for american american eagle so we saw the aeo earlier for american eagle outfitters 
And this is the AE for American Eagle, which I think is the same thing, right? Unless one is a higher end than the other. But I, I will try to sell that because I like it. <laughs> this I like too. It's unusual, very unusual. It's a wishbone. It is a suspended, that's the word I was looking for, suspended wishbone on this chain. And I don't see any markings on this. I don't think it's, look at that. I don't think it's silver at all either. It doesn't even look silver. Okay. <laughs> but I will, I will clean it up and try to sell it. And then there is a broken chain. It is magnetic, so it will go in my chain lot. Does somebody want a chain lot? I don't know. Now this chain was also in there, which I thought they were together. And maybe they were. This one is also magnetic. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe I'll hang on to this one because it looks, you know, it looks kind of silvery. It's not silver, but let's say I found a nice silver charm and I wanted a, a pendant and I wanted something to sell it with. I could sell it with this and just say, you know, this, the necklace is not silver. So here we've got some earrings. I'm moving, moving along. Well, yeah, let me do the earrings and I'll come back to that. These are really pretty earrings. They are colorful. They remind me of peacocks. So that might be some kind of little keyword with the just, just hold still. Stop wobbling around. You were in the right position earlier and now you're being weird. Not you. I'm not talking to you. It's the camera. I'm talking to the camera. 